Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to day eight of Vlogmas, and today we're at Shilai Disc Golf Course, and I'm gonna see if I can shoot par using just some minis. I'll be putting with a Jawbreaker Challenger, probably only gonna use this for putting. Doesn't really fly very far. I've got a Z Buzz, this one's kinda broken in. This is I'm gonna use for straight shots. I've got a crystal buzz. This one is very overstable. I'm going to use this one for hyzers and kind of flex shots. I've got a Big Z Undertaker. If I remember right, this one is pretty understable, so I'm probably going to use this for any turnover shots and turnover approaches um, because I can't really throw forehands very well with these. So this is going to be pretty much every turnover shot. And my secret weapon is the Big Z Nuke. This is a pretty long course, uh, over 7,000 feet. And to shoot par, I'm going to have to be throwing 300 foot plus drives. And the Big Z Nuke, I can get this out almost as far as my regular drivers. So this thing's got 400 feet of potential, but it's a little squirrely at only 60 grams. Luckily, it's not very windy right now, but obviously you can see pretty snowy conditions. So that's going to be my goal, to shoot par, which is about 950 rated. have no idea if that's going to be possible. That's in prime position, right in the center of the fairway. I think these are going to be tricky distances. Uh, these are pretty good for putting inside the circle, but I really don't have any touch for them from this far away. We'll take it. Hole two, a lot more technical. Got to keep it kind of low and dead straight. 330. We're gonna see if uh, this Undertaker is as flippy as I remember it. Got a pretty good kick back into the fairway. That was going OB for sure. Almost threw that in. All right, even after two, this is a pretty easy hyzer shot usually, but with minis, I feel like I'm gonna have to give this quite a bit of power and hopefully just hit the angle right. Early release, but we're in play. This is some happy Gilmore stuff right here. Big trees falling down. I'm like just outside the circle, but I'm gonna have to kind of just flop it over the top of it. Like.
after I keep it straight across the creek. And I want to apologize in advance. I'm sure these are going to be kind of hard to see, but I'll do my best zooming in for the edits. Well, it's over the creek, but it's way less. Okay, this is actually so bad, it's good. I'm all the way into five fairway, and I've got a pretty easy over the top approach. There we go, that's fun. Saved another one. All right, number five, just gonna try to get across the creek and play from there. That was shanked, but it's across. Up and down again. All right, hole six. Gonna try to play the Undertaker straight. Just get a little fade, get in the center of the fairway and line up a big hyzer second shot. All right, right in the middle. I right, overshot the fairway a little bit. I'm gonna have to try a big turnover nuke. I don't like the sound of that. Right in the middle. It's starting to snow pretty good now. Hopefully you can see these discs a little bit. Yeah. We're counting it. Back to even somehow. So it's not quite 2022 yet, but I'm pretty sure the rules update, if the disc comes to rest in the tray, however it gets there, it counts. So we're counting that one for the two.
we're gonna throw her to the middle of the fairway. That was an even front nine. Really wondering if you can even see these discs in the air. I'm gonna take a break, check the footage in the car, and we'll make a decision on the back nine. All right, guys, check the footage in the car, and you can see the discs well enough, I guess. So, if you made it this far, tune back in tomorrow for the back nine. See you later.